Despite all the buzz, Bitcoin is still a bit of a mystery. When you throw in terms like cryptocurrency and blockchain, it adds up to confusion. We figured it was worth it to get a breakdown of the basics. Arnold, at its very fundamental nature, how would you simply describe what Bitcoin is? Yeah, Bitcoin is uh, two things. It's first a digital currency and it's a cryptocurrency. So digital currencies are currencies that exist in electronic space. There's no physical aspect to it. There aren't any coins, notes, or bills. It's not something that's backed by a government, group of governments like the euro, um, and it's processed on a decentralized basis. Um, it is intended to be a medium of exchange, however, so it should have value and credibility in the marketplace. Now, I've heard that there is a very limited amount of how much they issued on that, kind of a dollar amount, they've said? Well, um, in total, uh, and by the year 2140, there will be 21 million Bitcoin produced. Uh, I'm not sure how many there are currently. It's substantially lower than that. But uh, the daily transaction volume in Bitcoin today is somewhere around oh, one to two billion dollars a day, which sounds like a lot, but when you compare that to, say, the foreign currency market, the foreign currency market trades over five trillion a day. Now, right now, is it more of a, an investor opportunity? Because it seems like people aren't really taking it or using it as a currency, per se. Yeah, I think the uses are pretty limited at this point. So. Um, Rather than investor, I would probably look at it more from the standpoint of a speculator. Uh, so there are, there, there are three ways that you can acquire Bitcoin. One is that you could buy it. The second one, you can accept it as a vendor for goods and services. And the third way is that you could be a miner. I'm glad you mentioned that because I think the mining part of it is kind of confusing because it's really um, an interesting scenario. Yeah, mining is critical to the integrity of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, as I mentioned, is not backed by a government. It's not backed by a group of governments like the Euro. It's a decentralized process. Um, and so if it's to have value that is acknowledged by the market participants, there needs to be fail-safe systems in place to protect the transaction and the value of that currency. And that's where miners come in. So. Um, in order to explain what miners do, I have to talk a little bit about how this transactional history is validated. Mm -hmm. So every uh, Bitcoin owner will receive what's called a distributed, uh, distributed ledger. And that ledger reflects every Bitcoin transaction that has occurred since 2009 when it was first minted. Um, when you do a Bitcoin transaction, you send a message out into internet space, and there are basically computers out there that are listening for these transactions. It's uh, based in cryptography, so these messages are encrypted, and they go through a mathematical process to validate that the account number that uh, is sending the Bitcoin is valid, the account number that is receiving the Bitcoin is valid, the uh, amount and by account number sending the, the, the Bitcoin that there actually is, like if I say I'm going to send five Bitcoin, that I, I in fact have five Bitcoin. Is this part of the blockchain that you It is about? the blockchain and really in my mind um, that is probably the most valuable aspect of Bitcoin and these cr uh, cryptocurrencies because there's tremendous uses in a lot of other industries. Mm -hmm. So they validate the block, that becomes this public record that everyone can see. The miners don't do that for free because there's a tremendous amount of work for them to solve these mathematical puzzles. Uh, whoever wins this lottery, if you will, they receive 12 and a half Bitcoin and it takes about 10 minutes to solve these puzzles. So 12 and a half Bitcoin is uh, awarded every 10 minutes, uh, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. 12 and a half Bitcoin every 10 minutes is 1800 Bitcoin a day, which at current market value is somewhere between 18 to 22 million dollars. So that's the incentive for these miners to, to, wow. to do this activity. Now, I've heard this about solving the puzzles as well. Mm -hmm. Where does the puzzle come from? What kinds of puzzles are they solving? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, the uh, 
cryptography that is used for Bitcoin uh, actually is connected to the U.S. government. Uh, it comes from the NSA, the National Security Agency, and they use this technology which is called uh, SHA-256 or SHA-256. That stands for um, Secure Hash Algorithm. And basically, all governments, including the U U.S., we need a mechanism sure. to communicate to armed forces and to, mm -hmm. to embassies, and those messages are out there. So this is a mathematical puzzle where it gets sent out into uh, internet land, if you will, and people are listening for that, and what they are now doing is they're running algorithms and guessing what the and answer now it's is. the speed of computers and, and Absolutely. setups. Yeah, so the computers that are used, they aren't things that you and I could really do because the computers are highly expensive, very sophisticated, and it's not just one, it's literally thousands of these around the world that are trying to solve this puzzle. And uh, so this technology is one way, meaning that you can solve for the answer, but you can't solve for the input, meaning the account numbers and all these other things. Mm -hmm. So it's one way. And it's very secure. Yeah, I'm going to ask you to kind of put on your prognosticator hat for a minute. Where do yeah. you think it's going to go? I think it's going to grow. Um, in terms of value, that's a big question mark to me. Um, you know, it's extremely volatile, which is why I was saying that if you were going to buy it, I think it's really more of a speculator's type of play or a trader's type of play. Um, the uh, technology is very, very robust, and I think as more businesses accept it, it will grow. That will be the requirement. You know, the interest in it right now is because it's risen from price from, in price from pennies into the tens of thousands but it's really going to be a function of merchants accepting it as a form of payment. 